The United Nations is an international organization that was formed to promote peace and security, develop friendly relations among countries, and promote social progress, better living standards, and human rights. The UN does everything from peacekeeping and humanitarian operations to holding conferences that produce multilateral treaties. Conceived by the Yanks, the Ruskies, and the Brits before the end of World War II, the UN was formally established by delegates from 51 countries in San Francisco on October 24th, 1945. Today, the UN of 51 has become the UN of 192. So where did all these states come from? Well, a huge amount entered in the 60s when loads of them threw off their colonial yokes and put on the swanky capes of independence. Then, in 1991, the USSR, otherwise known as Russia, our indomitable Cold War enemy, proved rather dominable by ceasing to exist and leaving 15 states to join. Other countries have petered in throughout the years and, contrary to popular belief, Switzerland, the beautiful nation of watches and banking, is a member, having officially joined in 2002. The UN headquarters are located on the East River in Midtown Manhattan, but the site is an international territory, so feel free to do this. No jurisdiction. <laughs> The top dog and voice of the UN is the Secretary General. The current Secretary, Ban Ki-moon, is not as well known as his predecessor, nor is the world's only other celebrity Korean, who's also known for his acts of goodwill toward mankind. The main body of the UN is the General Assembly, where representatives of all countries sit around a huge room wearing big headphones, listening to each other's speeches, and passing lots of resolutions that don't actually have any binding effect on anybody. This World Parliament meets regularly, as well as for special sessions. It's a great forum for states to promote their views in a constructive way or simply to bloviate. Leveling out the playing field. Okay, so General Assembly resolutions may convey the general sentiment of the group, but they have no force. If you're looking for binding resolutions, then the Security Council is your man, your woman, your whatever. Actually, you're 15 of them. The Security Council has five permanent members who've been there since the UN was established, and 10 others who rotate onto the Council for two-year terms. The distinction between the 5 and the 10 is important, and I'll tell you why. Substantive Security Council resolutions require 9 of 15 votes to pass. However, a no vote from any one of the five permanent members quashes the resolution. Real strength, or at least the ability to be an obstructionist, lies in this veto power. For security issues, the Council first explores ways of reaching a peaceful agreement, maybe putting forth some principles for a settlement or having parties take medication. Just kidding, undertake mediation. But if a dispute leads to fighting, the Council tries to resolve it ASAP. The Council may impose economic sanctions or an arms embargo. And once a truce is in place, the Council may send in peacekeeping forces to supervise the truce and keep opposing groups apart. Peacekeepers are those guys you see in blue helmets. They're donated by states that aren't involved in a given conflict and are then put under a single command. Just remember everyone, peacekeepers serve at the invitation of the host government and have to scram if it says so. Also, peacekeepers are not peacemakers. They come around to manage a truce and keep things chill. They aren't there to force a peace on warring parties. A proactive role like that, where the Security Council authorizes the use of force against an aggressor nation, has occurred only twice in the history of the UN. The Korean War in 1950 and the Gulf War in 1990 after Saddam invaded Kuwait. There are a couple of other councils within the UN, but you don't need to know about those. The main thing to remember is this. The UN doesn't exist because it has the power to force its will on the world's countries. It's not a global government. It exists because countries created it to serve their needs, to try to keep peace, to find solutions to international problems, and to work cooperatively on social, economic, development, and cultural preservation issues in order to make the world a better place. Now do your part, and don't be an effing a-hole.